I am Adil Kumar. Let me thank all the viewers and subscribers for our YouTube channel and the free math solutions to participate actively. You have been posting brilliant questions and also helping us provide with the best solutions. Now here is another question posted today which relates to find all values of x for which rank of this matrix is equal to 2. Right? So, so here is the matrix given to you. You can always pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Now when we are talking about rank of a matrix, what are we looking into? That's very important to understand. So we are actually looking into maximum number of linearly independent equations right so that is our purpose right now how do we figure this out when we have an augmented matrix right so we have a, here a matrix and we need to figure out so this is our augmented matrix right so how do we find that how many linear independent equations are there in this? So the best way is to uh, reduce it using row equaline method. So that's what we are going to do. Right? So if you get set of zeros, that means it is dependent. Right? That is what it is. Now here, we want to actually find all values of x for which rank is 2, right? So in this, as you can see, rank, maximum rank could be what? Is 3, right? So for any value of x except for some which we are going to find, maximum rank is 3. We know the first row and the third row, they are independent, right? Now, depending on the value of x, second row can be dependent or independent, right? That's the whole idea, right? So, we know that row 1 and row 3 are independent. Now, to make the rank 2, so if I am saying that the rank is equal to 2, that means somehow I have to make the row 2 as dependent. Right? Now, row 2 is dependent if it could be formed by linear combination of others. Right? So, we are looking for linear combination. Right? So, that's what we are looking for. That's the whole strategy behind it. Right? Now, let's see. We want to get minus 7 and we have 7 and 28. So that indicates that how can I get minus 7 here. So what we can do here is that we can write row 2 as equal to. Now to get 7 here I have to multiply this by 5 and then take away from here. Correct. So it could be uh, it could be like uh, r3 minus 5 times r1. So if we perform this operation, then we will get 7 here, right? So let's see. What should be r2? So we'll try this. r3 minus 5 times r1. Correct? So these are the values for r3. So if we do this, then we get the matrix as what? We we'll write row 1 as such, which is minus 1, 2, 1, and 7. R3 also as such, which is minus 3, 10, 4, 28. Now, if I do this particular operation, R3 is 28 minus R1, right? So, we started from here. 
So that is 35 if I take away, I do get minus 7, correct? Here, if I do this 5 times and, and then take away from here, I do get 2, right? So we do get this value matching. Here also, 5 times 2 is 10, and 10 take away 10 is indeed 0. So we do get that. So that means the value of x we can actually find using this operation. Does it make sense to you, right? So R3 is 4 minus 5 times 1. 5 times 1 is equal to minus 1. So we get minus 1 here. So that is the value of x, right? So therefore, x equals to minus 1 for rank of A as equal to 2. Is that clear to you? So that is how we can actually solve such a question, right? So I changed this question from the original question a bit. Uh, now you can actually solve your question and uh, check your answer. I hope that makes sense. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.